structural formulas unit 2 gearbox design what is structural formula structural formula is a mathematical expression it will be an equation giving number of speed steps z in each stage and number of spindle speed steps x by which two adjacent speed values of each stage are separated let us see how This is the formula Z is P1 X1, P2 X2, P3 X3, Pn Xn where Z is number of speed steps. Suppose there is a 6 speed gearbox then Z is 6, there is a 9 speed gearbox then Z is 9. P1, P2, P3, Pn number of speed steps in first transmission stage, second transmission stage, third transmission stage, nth transmission stage capital N is number of stages or transmission groups in gearbox. Suppose there is a 6 speed 2 stage gearbox then number of stages are 2. There is 9 speed 3 stage gearbox then number of stages are 3. X1, X2, X3, Xn are the number of spindle speed steps by which two adjacent speed values of particular transmission group are separated from first stage, second stage, nth stage. Now let us see how x1, x2, x3, xn values are found out. x1 is always 1, x2 is p1, x3 is p1 into p2, x4 is p1 into p2 into p3, xn is p1 into p2 into pn minus 1. Let us take an example. Suppose there is a 6 speed gearbox with two stages then capital N is 2 and Z is 6. Now this combination 6 is possible in two ways 2 3's are 6 and 3 2's are 6. If Z is P1 X1 P2 X2 then let us see how the combination works. First let us do it for 2 3's are 6. Now Z is P1 X1 P2 X2. P1 is 2 and P2 is 3 because we are looking at 2 3s are 6 combination. X1 is always 1 and X2 is P1. In this case P1 is 2 so X2 is 2. So the formula will become 2 into 1, 3 into 2. Now I want to interchange the values of P1, P2, X1, X2 and from this formula I want to make some other formulas. See how it happens. Suppose it is 2, 1, 3, 2. Now I just want to interchange the values of P1, P2. So I'll keep X1 and X2 as 1 and 2 and just interchange 2 by 3 and 3 by 2. Now in second step I will just keep 2 in front and 1 on the other side, the back side. So, 2, 1, 2, 1. I'll just keep the x1 and x2 values interchanged and I'll just interchange the values of p1, p2. So I found the four combinations. These are the four combinations that I found out. Same way now I want to go for 3 2's are 6. So in this case x1 is 1, x2 is p1 and here p1 is 3. So x2 is 3. So if I put the values in z is p1, x1, p2, x2, it will be 3 into 1, 2 into 3. If I interchange the values just like I did it for 2 3's are 6, this combination I could achieve. So ultimately, I could achieve 8 different combinations 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 3, 1, and 2, 1, 3, 3. Now there are two rules for checking if the formulas, structural formulas that you have developed are feasible or not. Means from these structural formulas if it is possible to make structural diagrams or not. The rule one is Z is greater than PKXK. 
means z must be equal to or greater than the product that is multiplication of pk into xk rule 2 says z divided by pk xk must not be an integer it should not be a decimal point it should be a real number let us do it for all the eight different combinations that you found out 2132 if i apply both the rules it is feasible now here 2 twos are 4 Right, six divided by four. If I apply the rule two, z divided by p k x k, it should not be an integer, not a decimal point. It should be a real number. And in this case, six divided by four, I am getting one point five. It is an integer, so it is not feasible. All the three are feasible. Now this is not feasible. Three, three, two, one. As per the rule one, z is greater than p k x k. You can see. Z is six, but P K X K is three. Three is a nine, so Z is not greater than P K X K. So this is not feasible. Similarly, here also three three, three three is a nine. So this is also not feasible.